say. I'm glad that's over. Greetings, viewers. Welcome to part two of the Ethereum Wars. I posted a video a little bit back, the part one video, in which I showed the Arc Thumbs, whatever it is, and the other two locations for Ethereum shards. And this final location is um, Roadbarthar. Roadbarthar. Yeah, I have trouble with these names. And it is a another extensive Dwemer rune. So there's going to be some fast forwarding along the way in order to try and keep the video from being overly long. So let's get on with Aether Wars. Part 2, or Lost to the Ages, would be the correct um, mission. But let's get on with it. The second you come to Roldbathar, you're going to be attacked by bandits. And this is a pretty extensive Dwemer rune, and it is also connected to Blackreach, which I will show you in part of the video. But once you get through this and to the area where the shard is stored, you can continue on to the Ethereum Forge, which will be part three of this whole adventure. Once you enter Rolthar, you'll see a skeever roasting on a skewer, and you're going to see a guy sleeping in the corner. And you should be able to just take him down quickly, pick up the Dwemer garbage as well. Rolled Bathar, like all Dwemer runes, is going to be filled with Dwemer scrap metal that you can melt down to form Dwemer ingots. Depending on how you play your character, in my case, I'm playing a warrior, so I'm going to be doing some forging and creating armor and weapons. And even if I don't continue doing smithing and forging, uh, you can sell Dwemer ingots and make some decent money back. Also, I'm going to be um, stockpiling stuff here because it's a permanent fixture. And you can just dump everything that you don't want to carry with you into somewhere. Again, stockpiling stuff will allow you to come back, bring it back. Uh, I have a horse, so... That means essentially unlimited weight that I can carry once I get to the horse. So let's continue on. Don't bother trying to pick that door or even deal with that trap because, to be honest with you, it won't get you anywhere. You're going to be walking around it and you're going to be wasting a lot of lock picks. Now, here's another guard. And I'm going to take him or her down. Yeah, I just fast forwarded over my stealth maneuvering so I could shoot this guard here and a bandit marauder. Fairly tough. Oh, dodging an arrow there. Coming at me and down. And that alerted another potential guard. There he is. And this one is trying to get into a arrow. Ah, he's running away. Well, he's out of range, so he's maybe going to bring his buddies with. Let's see how this turns out. Not nope, they're going to not come behind me. Here we go.
The other guy is hanging back. I'm going to do some scavenging, and I'll fast forward to when I take down the last guy. He's down, so I'm going to try and pick this gate in front of me and go up those stairs to an upper region, and I'll show you why, I'm, and I'll explain to you why I'm going to be doing that. A master lock is going to take forever, so yeah, I'm going to fast forward. This upper balcony area here, you see some catapults, and you see that guy down there. If you have an assassination mission, one of them is to kill Elaine Dufont. And he will be sent, you'll be sent here to kill him, but you've already killed him, and you can fire off these catapults if there were more guys at the bottom there, but he was the only guy left. So I just assassinated him. Elaine Dufont has fine clothing and ages born, which is, eh, it's an okay iron hammer. Uh, it's a nice thing to add to the collection. Now I'm going to gather up this stuff, and you don't want to bother trying to open this door. You're wasting your time. You can walk around instead of wrecking lockpicks. I just stored some stuff. Now I'm coming back into this room, and there is a lot of treasure in here. There's this last steed. Sneak is increased. Then the apprentice level. Oh, I just got a rare achievement. Red 50 skill books. Yippee. Now, he open. Yeah, lock picks. Like I said, always have at least 100. Unless you have your lock picking skill so heavily modified magically that it's quick to open up everything else. And again, I'm trying to take as much stuff as I can. And uh, lavender here. Uh, you know, there's just a tremendous. Oh, ow. Oh, I'm going to have to fight this guy here. And take him down. He's got a shield backing away. Yeah, I'll just blast him and hack him up. There is a lot of treasure in this room. You're going to have to, how shall I say, pack rat it and stash it in one of these um, treasure chests or barrels. And that way you can then move on with lighter weight. Still in the same room, and there's this area, which, again, master lockpick, but there is some excellent treasure in here. And again, you're going to have to stash everything so that you're not carrying it with you throughout the rooms. Now look at all this treasure. There's gold ingots, there's coin purses, and yeah, this is a lot of stuff. Ooh, waning frost. If it's magically enchanted, take it, you can sell it. Ooh, wow, yeah. This is, again, good stuff. But I'm going to stash all of it and then move on. A Dwemer Sphere. Uh, yeah, these things are pretty nasty, but I took them down, and a large strut. Let's see here, you're going to get this oil slick and a Dwemer spider creature. Oil slicks, um, you might want to ignite with some flames, and then take down the spider here. Okay, after stashing everything, you come to this room and it's a trapped stairs and a Dwemer spider. Let's see if he has anything. Nope. Now you got to get up these stairs. And the best way to do it is 
just stick to the side and kick, keep close to the wall. Just a minor cut, and now there's this room where you're going to fight some Dwemer constructs, and you have that kind of crazy pusher thing trying to push you into a flame. Yeah, you can't jump over this, so you got to kind of wait until the pusher thing retracts, or you can jump over the pusher thing. And there is a I'm going to light here, candlelight, and show you there is a treasure chest behind here, and it's either a very easy lock or not locked at all. And once you open it, there is some, yeah, this is getting to be a pain in the butt, even a novice, but there's some minor stuff in here. Unenchanted leather bracer, who cares? Now, yep, there's another Dwemer Sphere Master. And then over these steps, there's going to be some areas of treasure you're going to want to check out. Let's see, that is good. And you get up these steps here, and yeah, these this area, there's some there's a treasure chest, and again, a novice lock. Oh, that was easy. And Around here, you're going to want to pick some stuff up. Not otherwise, you get here and there is a spider. And after that, you're going to get further into Rothbold. Had to fight another Dwemer spider before. Oh, now this spinny blade. Again, you just stick around to the side here. You can easily avoid it. And you can't turn it off, but there's a chest here. And, oh, yeah, another novice annoying lock. But, ooh, potion of ultimate healing. Now you can move forward and open this door to whatever this is. There's going to be some fall more you're going to have to fight. And you will find these um, skeever, which you just want to shoot. And you're going to have to continue to fight Falmore. I'm going to fast forward through some of it because, yeah, it's you're just fighting Falmore. Now you get up to the second level here and then up to this bridge area and there's a Falmore around here somewhere up oh, there he is bam take him down and then let's see not a lot here mm, I don't have to drop anything off that I picked up nothing here and now you got this guy over here and you walk down this bridge, and you just take him out. He won't be doing a lot of damage to you. And with him down, you can then continue on and back over here. You will, ooh, good, to search this. Nothing in there that much. But you press this little poison here. Um, you press this button and it activates a bridge that you can continue on through Rothbold or Barth or whatever. Okay, you get here and yeah, you take a hit from a catapult trap. Now, I'm going to just heal up with potions of minor healing. I got plenty of those. And you come down, and there's going to be some Dwemer critters, spiders. Yep, there's one. And then there's going to be a Dwemer sphere at some point. But 
probably, yep, here he comes. A Dwemer Sphere. Oh, a minor trap there. Now you come to this button area, but there's some stuff you want to pick up first. The Anything you can melt down for scrap is what you want to pick up. If you don't want to, that's fine. Again, I like doing this, melting it down. Now you, these buttons, if you push the wrong one, yeah, you get burnt. And that sucks. You want to kind of get out of the flame blast. Come over here. There's some stuff you can pick up. And you want to drop that gate. And I believe it is the middle button or second button you push. Nope. That does nothing. Third button is the charm. Yes, the gate has dropped. This is the main room. And you open this gate, you've got a few um, char charas uh, behind the, in, ca in that cage, and you can pick up a bunch of, ooh, okay, yeah, you gotta deal with the Falmore first, and then you can pick up all those uh, charas eggs and kill those charas, because there is, um, treasure chests in that room and let's see up oh, there's another guy ah man take care of him and then there's that dude in the distance i'm gonna see if i can snipe him Now that he's down, I'm going to do a little more fast forwarding because there are still some Falmore that need to be taken down. Come to this area where the Falmore warmonger was, and this guy, he's aware, well, he's not really aware of you. He's a night prowler, so yeah, a couple of shots, and he's down. And then I'm going to do some more fast forwarding. Okay, I'm going to open the gate and let these Charis out and take them down. Then we can move on with the adventure. With that done, I'm going to gather up some treasure and then show you how to solve the puzzle in this room. Yeah, a lot of Charis eggs to uh, gather. Now, these gear traps here, the puzzle you have to do is you've got to remove, yep, like this, remove a leg bone. And you get those gears running. And the next gear you have to remove something from is over here. You remove a skull. And then you got to go into the water. And underwater here, you have to remove a piece of dwarven scrap metal. And then you come up here. And the next gear, you have to remove something from, I believe, is over, yep, over here at the far end. And you got to remove a human spine. Now everything should be running and all the gears running. And what you do is you come up onto these steps 
and you press this button and you gotta fight a Dwemer um sentinel or sentry. With him down, you can walk across the bridge safely. And I'm going to take the dynamo core. I'm not encumbered yet, so I should be good. And here we go. We got a treasure chest here that you want to check out. Uh, don't take the iron battle axe. The gauntlet's fine. If iron or steel or leather are not enchanted, don't bother taking them. You flip this switch, and you are now in the area where there is the Aether Shard. And Katrina is battling these Dwemer Spider here, and this Dwemer Sphere. Sphere. Glad that's over. That's the last one, isn't it? It's it's almost time. I'll meet you at the forge. Now there's still some stuff you can gather and stash. Um now that I have all the shards, this does lead down if you have the proper uh activate dw dwarven mechanism. I did. Now we're going to go down to Black Reach, which is the um, it's called the Waldbarth. Um, what you call it? This is the marketplace, the Rolf Bard marketplace. Again, that one door, one door leads to Black Reach, and I'm going to keep. Breaking lock picks here. Okay, this is Black Reach, and it is the Rolf Barled Deep Marketplace. You can see there's another. Yep, you can see that there are going to be other lifts in the area. I'm going to fast forward so that we get outside of this ruin. Okay, now that we are outside, the lift, one lifts that brings you up to this point, and you can come down, walk down these steps. There is a treasure chest right over here that you're going to have to open and I'm going to fast forward through the lock picking. An amethyst and two amulets of Akintosh. Great. You pick up the scrap metal and the alchemy ingredients. Black soul gem is worth it. Uh, this void salts is, but these dishes aren't. And you can come back down here. Eventually, you're going to get back to the bottom of Rothbald, and you can move on. I'm going to go pick up my stockpile of stuff and fast forward through all of that. If you don't have a horse, you'll have to make multiple trips back and forth to empty this place out. A horse kind of gives you unlimited carrying capacity. And I haven't found any encumbrance in regards to a horse. So I'm going to go back in, gather all my crap, bring it back, take my horse back to Lakeview Manor, and uh, just basically sort it all out. If you like this video and found it informative, hit the thumbs up icon. and. 
leave a comment. I like to respond to comments if they're well thought out, nice comments. If you um, don't like it, well, hey, hit the unlike button. Anyway, I post four videos a week based on video games. And if you want to find out when they're posted, hit the subscribe button and bell icon, and you'll be informed when I post those videos. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by. Thank you.